Hello and welcome to Celebration Ideas for Tolkien Week, September 19th to 25th, 2021, and Hobbit Day, September 22nd. With the Newburgh Free Library. Here are 15 ways to celebrate in honor of the 15 members of Thorin and Company in The Hobbit. 13 dwarves, one wizard, and one Bilbo Baggins. According to the American Tolkien Society, Tolkien Week is observed as a calendar week containing September 22nd. Hobbit Day is scheduled to fall on Bilbo and Frodo's mutual birthday, the date of the long-awaited party, translated in the text of The Lord of the Rings as September 22nd. Tolkien Week honors J.R.R. Tolkien and his son and editor Christopher J.R. Tolkien and celebrates the Middle Earth Cycle, The Silmarillion, The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings, Unfinished Tales, and The History of Middle Earth. Both celebrations began in 1978. So how can we celebrate? Let's take a journey to find out. Way number one is to read the books or listen to them on audio. Of course, Tolkien wrote a whole lot of books. The Lord of the Rings itself has 576,459 words. It is possible to read it in 24 hours, but that would be quite a feat, and there are so many other books to explore. Fans of The Lord of the Rings often write it as L-O-T-R, or Loader for short. Take a look at the Tolkien Society page for more information about how to read, study, and explore Tolkien's universe. Way number two to celebrate is to set the stage with a welcome for guests if you're having a Tolkien party. You could be very elaborate, like on the left we have the uh, image of the doors of Moria on someone's door, or you could make a hobbit hole door with green streamers. You could also set the stage by having some signs. No Tolkien party would be complete without a sign that says, no admittance except on party business. Way number three, get into character. Choose your role. What Hobbit character would you be? Link in the description to a quiz if you're not sure. Or maybe you know what sort of creature in Tolkien's universe you want to be like a hobbit. Uh, so you can hop over to the fantasy name generator for the hobbit name generator. They also have generators for elves, dwarves, ants, warriors, many different kinds of characters. Way number four, dress the part. I've included a link down in the description of how to make a simple hobbit cape, which will do for any member of the fellowship. You could also dress the part with hobbit feet. Uh, there are versions which build on shoes and flip-flops or uh, versions where you are in fact barefoot with the fur on top of your feet. You could dress the part by creating character props such as the plushy version of Sting, the sword carried by Bilbo and Frodo, or the hat worn by Gandalf, or one of Legolas's bow and arrow sets. Way number five, let's eat. What Hobbit party would be complete without lots of good food? Uh, you could go the route of providing food that is themed to the story, such as on the left there, uh, olives to represent dragon eyes for smog, and gummy bears to represent the bear character Bjorn. Or you could go the route of serving the food mentioned in the Hobbit chapter, An Unexpected Party. Uh, we have links to that menu um, from foodandliterature.com in the description. And hobbits in the books are very fond of mushrooms, so a plate of those would not be amiss. Of course, a hobbit cake would be a great centerpiece for a Lord of the Rings and Tolkien party. In the Lord of the Rings, uh, the Fellowship characters are said to eat Lembus bread. This is a special elven bread used for traveling. And there are a number of different recipes for Lembus bread on the internet. I put a sample of them in the description. Way number six, get crafty. But 
not like Saruman crafty. You could paint a rock like Bag End or another hobbit hole. Or you could create rings. Uh, more advanced crafters can create a one ring bracelet out of a soda bottle. And crafters of many ages could create their own ring of power out of clay. The youngest Hobbit fans can create a Gandalf beard handprint craft. Um, and there are also themes such as the Eye of Sauron, origami, or cross stitch or parlor bead patterns. Way number seven, let the games begin. You could play the game Hunt the Ring, which is a ring on a string game, or you could have a ring scavenger hunt. Although you may want to put the ring into a plastic egg or something of that sort before you hide it to make it a little bit easier. You could play the Who Am I name guessing game, uh, wherein some of the names from the stories are put on slips of paper and each player gets a name on his or her back taped there and they go around and ask others um, questions, yes or no questions to guess their character, such as am I a hobbit? Is my character at the Battle of Minas Tirith? You could play Lord of the Rings Bingo, or you could do a picture drawing game. You could, of course, have a shoot the dragon with an arrow game, but for a safer version, perhaps you could have pin the arrow on the dragon. Another game you could play if you have a lot of string is to create an enormous spiderweb type arrangement, uh, such as in the forests of Mirkwood, and have your party goers try to get through the maze of strings without touching any of them. Of course, a game that would be fitting for The Hobbit is to have a riddle competition, just as Bilbo Baggins and Gollum have in The Hobbit. Here is a riddle from the book. A box without hinges, key, or lid, yet golden treasure inside is hid. The answer? An egg. Of course, you could make up or find your own riddles, such as what has hands but cannot clap? A clock. Way number eight, take a quiz. Test your knowledge of The Hobbit. There are many different quizzes online. I'll put a link to one in the description. In Tolkien's books, we find out that hobbits on their birthdays don't generally receive presents. They generally give them to others. So to be truly authentic, if you hold a hobbit or Lord of the Rings party, it would be nice to have party favors to keep with that tradition. Some of the examples I found were pretend swords with the name tags written in Elvish, chocolate coins labeled with part of your share of the Lonely Mountain treasure, and bows and arrows in cloth bags. Way number 10, explore Middle Earth. Middle Earth is famous as a mythical land for having maps associated with it. There is a site, uh, called the Loader Project with interactive maps where you can zoom in, explore, search for different places, and you can also see timelines, family trees, and more. It truly is a visual interactive experience of Middle Earth. So I recommend you check that out. Of course, maybe the fellowship should have just used Google Maps. Way number 11, talk the talk. Tolkien was a master at crafting invented languages, and one of the best sites that I've encountered for exploring those languages is Arda Lambian, or the Tongues of Arda, Arda being the overall name for the invented world of J.R.R. Tolkien. The site has many, many resources going over all the different languages that Tolkien created, even the ones that were the silly code versions of his childhood. Creating your own language uh, is known formally as conlanging, constructed language building. And you can try your hand at conlanging with the language construction kit, even if you have no prior experience. 
Queen number 12 and write the writing. Tolkien not only created many different languages, he also created scripts for some of them to be written in. And yes, there is an English to Sindarin Elvish translator on Yandex Translate. So if you would like to write an Elvish inscription, you can just put in the English and it will tell you how to write that. But what if you actually want to learn how to read that script in Elvish? There are flashcards for that. Or maybe Kirith, the alphabet of dwarfish runes would be easier. Way number 13, write some fan fiction in Tolkien's universe. In a red book, if you've got one, to be more like the Red Book of Westmarch, a book that appears within Tolkien's universe and which recorded the events of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, according to the characters. Way number 14, have a movie marathon. The Lord of the Rings movies uh, came out in 2001, 2002, and 2003 and have a total runtime of 11.4 hours. They received a total of 30 nominations from the Academy Awards with 19 wins. This film trilogy has millions of loyal fans, though Christopher Tolkien and a number of other enthusiasts of the book are not among them. Way number 15, learn more. There is so much to learn about Tolkien and the universe he created, and also the sources that inspired Tolkien in the first place, and the mythology and the deeper meanings that he wanted to express in his works. Most importantly, call your fellowship and enjoy celebrating a classic story.